Hey folks, how are you doing? We're back with another video and in this video, I'm going to show you how you can generate thousands of leads in your desired niche, in your desired site, and you can save them in your desired platform as well. Now we will be using n to make this workflow, but before we begin, I'm going to ask you to subscribe to the channel so that you get updated videos of my channel. It may not look like much, but it gives me huge support in making these videos. All right, so let's get right to it. So the entire process, which we'll be automating is very much inspired from this YouTuber called Helena Liu. And she gave an amazing process of how we can generate leads. The only problem was that this entire process was manual. So before I show you my internet automation, let me just give you the business overview of it. All right, so we are on a whiteboard now and let's understand how we can generate leads. So what Helena su suggested that we'll be using a detailed prompt and using this detailed prompt, we'll be doing a Google search. After we have done the Google search, what we can do is we can copy the entire data and paste it to chat GPT. After we're done copy pasting the entire data, the chat GPT will return us these three columns, name, email, and their URL. Sounds good. Great. So let me show you what the prompt is because that's the entire crux of the automation. So Helena suggested that we can use this search query in order to get the best results. So we'll be using, so let's try to do this on a Google search. Let's try this. So what Google returns is it returns us the name. It is also returning us a Gmail. And when we click on this, we'll be getting the LinkedIn profile of the user. And I think that's very detailed data, which we can get using just Google search of the lead. So what we will now, what we will do is we'll basically copy this entire data and we'll ask chat GPT to convert this to a table. convert this data to a table with name and email and LinkedIn profile and chat GPT will do the entire job. It will convert, it will give us a table with name, email, as well as the LinkedIn profile. So you can see, we are not getting all the emails because there can be search results where there are no emails present, but we get a lot of emails through this as well. So let's hop over to another. So this was the, so this was Helena's process in getting the leads. Now let's try to, now let's see how we can automate this. Great. So we have the process of detailed prompt. We can get this prompt using a code block and we can feed. Um, so we can generate the prompt using keyword as well as site. So we'll feed in keyword and site as variable and we'll get the prompt. Now for Google search, we can use SERP API. For those of you who do not know what SERP API is, well, SERP API basically gives you the result of a Google search. It can replicate a Google search and it will give you the entire results what, what you get on the Google homepage. Great. So we have the SERP API to replicate Google search. After we have all the data, what we need to do is we need to copy the entire data and give it to a chat. So what we need to do is we need to copy the entire data and we need to give it this to an AI agent. So we'll use AI agent and we'll ask them to generate name, email, as well as LinkedIn URL. After you all this data, we'll be saving all these leads into a MailChimp URL. We'll be saving all these leads into a MailChimp CRM. Sounds simple enough. I hope you were able to see how we are making this automation. So let's he head over to NA10 and see how our automation works. So this is our NA10. So this is our NA10 and as you can see, we have a simple form submission, which is taking keyword as well as site as an input. And we have a code block, which is converting this into a site param. So you can see we have a site called LinkedIn. We are ha we're having this particular keyword and we're searching for at the rate gmail.com emails. Great. And we're simply passing this to a SERP API, which will give us the entire result of Google search. And then we are only filtering out this and then we're filtering out the crap so that we can get the entire lean results like title link, as well as snippet. So snippet will contain the Gmail title can contain the name and the link is going to be the link to the profile. After we have done the lean search, we'll be looping over all the listed people who are in Google search and we'll be and we'll be feeding this data to our LLM chain. All right. So what, what does LLM chain does? 
So we are simply saying that we will be giving out these three details and we want the detail in a format called name, email as well as link them. And uh, if there is no detail, we can just leave it empty. And here, here are the details. I've passed out in a structured output parser so that we can get an, so that we can get the output in this JSON object. Great. After this, we are simply checking if we have the email in this or not. If we don't have the email, then we don't, we, then we do not need, then we don't need to save this data to our MailChimp. And here is a MailChimp. We are simply feeding out the email, the name, as well as the LinkedIn URL. All right. So let's see this workflow in action now. So you can see we are looping over the first person and we are simply feeding this to a MailChimp and it's repeating the process for all users, which we have, and it's working on back. Great. So you can see that it has looped over 10 items. It has saved seven items in MailChimp. Now let's head over to MailChimp to see all the added contacts. All right. So as you can see, we have added all these details based on simple and workflow. Now you can save this data to Google sheet as well, but we are using MailChimp so that we can send out cold emails using this. Now, again, if you want to see how we can generate cold emails, you can click on the I button so that you can get to the newest video and don't forget to click on the subscribe button. And if you like this, we click on the like button as well. And I'll see you in this next video.